What's going on YouTube? This is Flames for Cat Status Quo and today I want to talk about a few things. First I want to talk about is AGL 10 that was supposed to happen this past week. And as you all know, uh, AGL 10 was supposed to be at Indianapolis and was supposed to be holding a 10K tournament for Halo 3. Uh, unfortunately there was no venue found. Uh, probably from the beginning it wasn't there and the uh, tournament was canceled. Uh, that was very heartbreaking to me because Halo 3 was my second favorite Halo of all time. Uh, it's probably the best Halo, uh, the Halo that I was best at. So I was very, 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 very sad that uh, the tournament got canceled because I couldn't play at it. I really wanted to go and just compete against all these people that I know uh, were good in Halo 3, including myself. We, you know, I was great at Halo 3. And I just wanted to play because I know every game was going to be competitive. Uh, every game, uh, everyone knew how to play, basically on every map. And it was going to be something that it came down to who was the better player, who was the better team in executing to who was going to win. So uh, very sad that that tournament did not uh, come through. I really wanted to play people like Formal and Lipo, uh, you know, Halo Reach, Halo 4 kids, who uh, were on good team for this Halo 3 tournament. Lethal had um, a Naval, Hines, and APG. That would have been a very good team, and I uh, wanted to see how he would adapt, how he would play with good teammates on his team. Uh, would he have been a force in Halo 3 if he came into the scene earlier? Uh, same thing with Formal. Formal had uh, Snipe Down, Pistola, and, uh, and Legit. There you go, and Legit. So I wanted to see how he would play with uh, with his team. But uh, unfortunately, actually, no, they picked up Hysteria because Legit was not going to go anyways. So my bad. So I wanted to see how well people like that would compete with uh, some of the other Halo 3 people. We had Dursky uh, and Snakebite. Snakebite did well at the end of Halo 3, uh, just like I did. He was placing top, he had the fifth place curse basically. Uh, we placed uh, four and three times with status quo, the first three events. And uh, Snakebite was like almost in the same thing, I think, with, in the middle of the season was getting fifth, 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 fifth type of deal. Uh, and Dersky got one top eight at, uh, I'm not sure which Halo 3 event it was, but uh, he really uh, came alive from that Halo 3 event and then exceeded and continued doing well in Halo Reach, and so did Snakebite. Um, I really wanted to uh, compete because there was also Ogre Two's team, which was him, Roy, Maniac, and Fear Itself, who, you know, all great Halo 3 players. So that was probably looked as the best Halo 3 team going into uh, that tournament. And I really just wanted to compete again. Uh, I love the game. I love the competition. The games are always crazy. Everyone knew how to play, so it was going to be exciting. So, unfortunately, that tournament did not happen. So, what happened? I went out and looked for another tournament because uh, I wanted to compete again on the Halo tournament before this year ends. And, uh, you know, get another W under my belt. And uh, the only tournament I could find was uh, a tournament out in Europe called I-50 Insomnia. Uh, it's basically the new EGL, I believe. Uh, and uh, it is going to be a 32 cap team. Uh, I believe there's 16 or maybe a little bit over 16 teams currently uh, registered. Uh, me and Enable will be going out to this tournament, which is November 29th to December 1st. That's going to be very, very exciting. It's going to be Halo 4. It's going to be a modern version of Halo 4, so apparently it's going to be no sprint. As you all know, I just like sprint, so I can't wait to play this Halo 4 uh, EU setting. I'm very excited for it. Uh, I'm going to be trying to figure out who our teammates are. In these next couple of days, I have to get on about 1 o'clock p.m. in the afternoon and play until 4 p.m. to kind of figure out uh, who to team with because that's uh, usually the best time to play with EU kids. Uh, it's basically their gaming hours over here on uh, the U.S. time. So that's what I got to do. Uh, next, I want to talk about my, my stream. So from 3 to 5, I want to stream any game, guys. Uh, I'm going to implement the stream schedule basically uh, next week. Uh, starting on Monday, uh, which is November November 11th. So, that's when I want to start the schedule, which is going to be 3 to 5 is going to be any game. Uh, I got uh, ooh, I got Battlefield 4, which I like a lot. I can't wait for the Xbox One comes out so I could uh, trade in my uh, Battlefield 4 for 10 extra dollars and get the Xbox One version because the graphics on it looked insane. The BF4 showdown looked crazy Euro versus uh, USA. It was insane. I cannot wait to play on the Xbox One. The graphics look Phenomenal. Uh, I just picked up Call of Duty Ghost last night. Uh, not a big fan of it right now. I did enjoy Black Ops 2, uh, but Ghost is letting me down, so uh, I don't know how much of that I'll play. I'll probably give it another shot today, and then I kind of figure out where I'm going to go with that. Um, play NFL Blitz 2012, which is on the Xbox Arcade. Uh, me and Side play a lot of NFL Blitz 64 at his house. 
Uh, we enjoy what's a lot. You know, it's it's backyard football basically. Uh, you can do things that you won't get penalized on, and it's just a different way of playing football, and it's crazy and fun. So uh, the uh, Xbox 2012 version isn't the greatest. Um, I do enjoy it though. They have this gauntlet mode, which I'll probably make videos for. It's uh, you play three teams and then a boss like the Cheeseheads, the Spartans. Um, I think the last theme is like the undead or the zombies, something like that. So uh, that's going to be exciting, and I can't wait to do that. Um, I'm trying to get some RPG games as well. I haven't really been able to play uh, RPG games in a, in a long time because of uh, the competitive uh, Halo spirit in me, because of uh, always be getting out and teaming me to get on uh, and practicing over and over from 2008 to 2012. So uh, now that I have a little bit of free time until these uh, next couple of Halo tournaments, uh, and when I say couple, I mean the European one, November 29th to December 1st. And then uh, the, the one that's going to happen next year at the end of January or beginning of February, that Gandhi is throwing a UGC for Halo 3, which I'm going to be very excited since it's Halo 3. If I'm free, I'm going to this tournament 100%. And uh, so like I said, so if I could get an RPG, like Assassin's Creed or something, and play it uh, and just game it and, you know, have fun and do, uh, do what I like. And then... After 3 to 5, I'm going to take a little break, and then at 7, I'm going to come back. So 7 to 11 or 7 to 12 will be when I play Halo. So the majority of my day of game will always be Halo, guys. You always had me there for the late night stream, 7 to 11, 7 to 12. So 4 to 5 hours of just solid Halo play. Then uh, with YouTube, I'm going to continue the breakdown videos, continue sending me gameplays, guys, to my gamer tag. If you want me to do it for Reach and 4, I'll do that as well. Uh, I want to do in every Halo because we don't know what Halo 5 is going to be like as of right now. So uh, there are things in 3, Reach, and 4 that you want to be able to not to do that you can you know bring into Halo 5. Because every Halo there's been stuff that you continue bringing along with you on your path for each Halo. So that's what's cool about it. You can keep getting better and uh, you keep making those skill sets of yours better for each Halo. Um, next off, uh, most of you guys know uh, that I recently got an MRI on both my shoulders, and you guys know I love working out and staying active. Uh, so I, I have been diagnosed, or uh, it has come up on my MRI that I have tendo, tendonitis or tendonesis. It is spelled T-E-N-D-I-N-O-S-I-S. -S. So basically what this is is that at the cellular level, my tendons are damaged. Uh, it's no inflammation, so that's a good thing, but at the same time, a bad thing, because the tendonitis, uh, T-E-N-D-O-N-I-T-I-S, is a lot easier to get rid of. It takes like two, three weeks. What I have, it, apparently it says three to four months, possibly a full year. So uh, uh, my insurance has recently changed, so I have not been able to go to an orthopedist. So my best friend uh, since elementary school, since we were little, you know, little kids, uh, has become a physical therapist. Uh, he's been doing it for the past two years. He's gave me these shoulder, uh, uh, you know, little exercises to do with resistant bands, and uh, I've been doing those for the past about three days. I'm gonna keep doing that for a month, and uh, I'm gonna keep doing it actually every day. But uh, I'm gonna keep doing it mostly until I get uh, the new insurance number, so I can go to this orthopedist and figure out from you know a professional's point of view who actually gets to look at my MRI and see how badly damaged it is and tell me what we have to go through surgery or whatnot. Because I want to get back into doing all the active things I do. I uh, shot got me on wakeboarding this past summer and I was doing it while my shoulders were damaged, but you know, I was fighting through it. So I want to be able to be go back to uh, next summer is wakeboarding, rock climbing, snowboarding in the winter when it's coming up next year. So uh, just a bunch of things. So I'm um, trying to, you know, get 100% healed uh, by the new year. So by the second, third week of January, I can get back into lifting and just getting ready to be doing active stuff next year. Um, and then finally, but not least, guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on uh, November 12th at 5 p.m. I'm going to tweet something, okay? And I'm going to need you guys to answer. And what you guys will be winning in this giveaway is... There's going to be two winners, guys, so it's going to be the first two people to answer it, the first two people who get the prize. In. The first this, the first person, I'm going to show your your uh, your prize in a second, but the, the second person who guesses it the quickest will be getting a Battlefield 4 paperback uh, book. I hope you guys picked up the game. Uh, why do I hope you guys picked the game? Because there is a lot of good information in here that you guys can use to uh, help your game play out. Me, Strong Side, Walshy, and Alumni. Worked really hard on it to uh, make sure that uh, it was a new level of content, uh, a lot of tips, and a lot of easy tips that you guys can kind of read and just immediately jump into the game and uh, obviously see improvement of the gameplay. Uh, the paperback is cool because you get a bronze battle pack right there. 
that's like two, three free items you get in the game, um, which helps you out a lot, so it's pretty sweet. And then you're going to get a four pack of Red Bull. Gaming all night with these things right here. Uh, quick, quick little intermission. Uh, this giveaway is for North America only, guys. Uh, I will let you know when I do a big uh, giveaway where it's everyone, like at the last time, where I had to ship a 32 pack of Red Bull to uh, Ireland, I believe it was. So I'll let you guys know that. And the first person who answers the question uh, the quickest will be getting a collector's edition Battlefield 4 guy. Um, you get a gold uh, battle pack for this, and that's like four to five items that come in that when you open it in the game. So that's pretty sweet. And you get these uh, map cards in the back that are, uh, you could draw on them and then erase it, which is pretty cool. So you get that. And then uh, that winner also gets a four pack of Red Bull. So uh, you guys are going to be energized for days. Again, this is North America only. Again, uh, I'm going to be asking this question on November 12th at 5 p.m. So that's next Tuesday, uh, 5 p.m. I'm going to be asking on my Twitter. So my Twitter is FlamesortSQ. All that goodie is going to be down there in the description box. Uh, I'm going to post out that the giveaway is going to be given. Uh, I'm going to be asked on Twitter next week. So uh, just be sure to be on the lookout. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. And then uh, until the next time, peace out, guys.